Hello and welcome. In this video, we will see how a Fiori app can be customized. In order to customize Fiori app, first the app selection plays a vital role. Why? Because the app available in the following resources are abundant. You have to choose an appropriate or almost similar to your requirement so that you can save a lot of time. Once it's done, I mean choosing of app is done, we shall work it out, we, we need to extend, we need to enhance certain things and then finally we can test and then after that we can upload it back to the server. Now let us see those resources one by one. So this is a Fiori uh, apps library. Here you will get a lot of apps as you can see around 10,000 plus apps are there. From here you can select the appropriate app or the app which you want to extend further. And then this is a demo kit from SAP UI5. From here also you will get a lot of apps like shopping cart, hello world application, simple application, two complex applications. And then there is a third uh, resource from here. This is a build.me officially supported by SAP. From here, you can actually select a project and clone it and then download uh, the project and then get that project into the SAP web ID. So now let us see an extension of app from ABAP repository. That is the fourth resource as shown in the presentation. So the moment it makes a connection with the backend, we will see the number of apps here available in ABAP repository. Um, I'm going to choose this EHS safety information and let me try to open the project in extensibility pane. In few moments we will see how it looks. So here uh, if the app selection is made from the other resources except uh, this one ABAP repository, make sure that the app is in zip format and you have to push those apps first to SAP cloud platform and then you need to re-import the project as extension project. Okay now this app is loaded with the actual data which is coming from ABAP repository. It's not a mock data. So here I'm going to change the mode to extensibility. As soon I change in all the standard applications you should be able to see this uh, extension point icon so if you click on that it will show the section where you can do extension so if i click so the signal word it is highlighting this uh, particular section so first let us try to extend this by hiding this so as soon I hit hide and hit refresh here you can see the changes here itself before deploying the application now if you notice here there is no the section which states a danger now let us try to make few more changes in the tab section. So I'm going to make some changes here by going to the actual uh, coding page. Okay, here you can see some code have been commented. For the demonstration purpose, I am going to add some data here and let me add a title. So 
so again if I choose to run this we can observe the changes here you can see the section has been added so similarly like this we can actually make a lot of changes in the standard apps uh, we will see one more changes here go to the basic info tab and we'll try to add something in basic info let us uncomment this try to save this for the demonstration purpose I'm actually showing some few simple things we can actually change a lot of things with this way now i made some changes in basic info tab you can see a behavior has been added here if you get back to the code You can see the title is coming from this some internationalization uh, that is a separate file where we can make changes and we can finally push this app to the server we'll see that now here there is an option like deploy I'm going to deploy this app in cloud platform As soon this application is been deployed to the cloud platform, the very next step is to put that app into launch page. It will take some time. <coughs> 